guest, Leah Pitts Valenti, Republican consultant. I won't use the word strategist. Yeah. She doesn't like that word. Republican consultant who's worked on a number of campaigns. Leah, one thing we just talked about, we, we mm -hmm. hinted a little bit on the Obama stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, the criticism of the local leaders that you hear a lot, what they, what they would say, of course, and what they have said is, hey, this is totally unjustified. Mm -hmm. We won every seat. The mm -hmm. only seat we lost locally was a hospital board mm -hmm. seat. No big deal. Everything's great. Do you agree with that? I do. I think that if we only lose one seat, how can you say there's a problem with it? Um, I think if we lost numerous seats and we lost uh, candidates running re-elects, if they lost, I absolutely think that we need to go back to the drawing board. Um, but no, I don't think that we have anything to worry about as of right now. Okay. Now, a lot of people also, what I hear, I'm just mm -hmm. telling you what I hear whenever I go to events is that, is that the local, the local leaders of the party now, they're obsessed with money and all they care about is fundraising and raising money and spending a lot of money yeah. on campaigns and that they neglect the grass, grassroots. They, ha they haven't, uh, they've let the grassroots apparatus of the local party slip. What do you think about that? Do you agree with that? No, I don't. And I don't actually see how um, they could say that because if you drove down Bee Ridge or Beneaver, Fruitville, um, I've never seen so much sign waving. I've never seen so many people energized and phone banking. And um, I'm a fundraiser, so I'm going to tell it like it is and in all honesty. Um, you can't have grassroots without the money. So it's good and it's great to complain and say, oh, you're focusing too much on the money, but how do you get the signs? the door knocker hangers, how do you get the cell phones, how do you pay for the cell phone bills if you don't have the fundraising. One right. comes with another. It's kind of a chicken and you, egg it, it is. So I, I don't like to, I mean, I'm a fundraiser, so I'm never going to knock uh, the fundraising. But you do need grassroots as well. You can't have one without the other. One of the things that the Democrats are talking about is how much money that uh, poured in mm -hmm. in support of local candidates, particularly Republicans, from outside the county. Although candidates on both sides got outside money. Why is it that so much money comes into these local races from outside the county? You know, I don't know exactly why. Um, if I knew why, I, I could definitely tell you. But I think... What about in your race with the Grant Dieter race? A lot of money came from outside the county. I think people wanted um, to see... Well, state senate is a little different than maybe... Um, um, uh, state House because there was only 40 state senators and what happens in Sarasota County is going to greatly affect what happens in Manatee or what happens in Charlotte or what happens in DeSoto. So you're going to have maybe a, a builder or um, something of that nature in Manatee County that is going to care what happens in Sarasota because it greatly affects their their work and their line. So yes, they're going to be concerned with what happens. There's only 40 senators um, with State House and even local elected officials. What happens in Sarasota County, like I said with you know the Mike Grand race, it's going to affect the line. You can't legislate, you know, no growth in Sarasota, and then Charlotte County legislates growth. So what are you going to do? Stop on the Sarasota County line, and then there's, you know, a high rise that probably wouldn't go so well. So I think every county, you know, all 67, we have to work in cohesion, whether we're Democrats or Republicans, to um, effectively pass legislation that helps everybody, that helps the people. You know, I w like the, you take the Sarasota County Commission mm -hmm. race and the sheriff race, a lot of money came in from oh, yeah. Manatee County in those races, which I can't still figure out exactly what's going on there. W w what's your theory? I think the powers and the money that be, I think those people are um, a few. And I think that when they want something, maybe they think that they're kingmakers and they decide to throw their money and their power behind a certain person. But at the end of the day, I think that we have elected good people. I think that we do have people um, in these positions um, that are supposed to be there. Um, at the end of the day, not the right person doesn't always win. But I think right now we do have some great people in office. Um, they happen to all be mostly Republicans, except for I think it was the hospital board. But right. um, I, so I'm going to have to say that I think we have good people. And I guess the money, it worked in our favor. I think that the Manatee Money Mafia there, they hit two out of three. They backed Knight, they backed, yeah. uh, they backed John O'Miller, which they lost, and they yeah. backed Keith Fitzgerald. So mm -hmm. actually they backed two Democrats, even though a lot of them were Republicans. Yeah. But it seems like what they're doing is they're, they're trying to figure out who they think they're going to win, and they're going to get behind that. Do, do you sense that when you're raising money, it's easier to raise money if there's a sense among the people that that's, good, that's the person who's going to win? I want to say yes, but in working with Mike Grant, I think a lot of people, um, and I'm using him because I worked for him, this actually does apply, but when I worked for him, um, everyone said on the on start, because we did start in 07, uh, well before the election, that, you know, Mike can't win, he, it's 20 points, you know, he's, Nancy can beat him by a landslide. 
but we still raised in hard dollars, um, close to $500,000. That says a lot. And we raised it in district, um, and in Manatee County, and in Sarasota County, and Charlotte County. Um, that says that people believed in him. Um, you write a check, you're going to vote for them. And, and to believe in somebody, I think, is the best vote. And, and obviously, you need to get them to go vote the day of election. But um, they believed in him. And I think they believed he was the right person. Local Democrats are saying they lost this election because of money. They, they, I don't across agree. Across the board. That's what they're saying. And agree. they vow that they are not going to be outspent in 2010. They're going to raise the cash. What do you think about that? They've never done it before, so I'd be interested to see. But I will say, though, that um, with Obama being the president um, and him being power, the DCCC, um, you know, down to the Florida Democratic Party, the money is going to flow down to them. And it is going to flow down to us. They're going to have more money. But I just don't think that they have the infrastructure in Sarasota County that we do and that we've had in place. Um, we know how to raise money here. Um, we've continually raised money. Um, and especially with the Florida legislature being um, dominated by Republicans, you're going to have the money flowing down to us. So, no, I, I'd like to see it. I'd like to hope that I'm still raising money then. And I think it's a challenge. And I say bring it. Another thing that you hear a lot, another criticism of, of the way that the Republican campaigns were run was that they, they put up a lot of bogus candidates. They put up bogus write-in candidates to close off the primaries, and they put up uh, bogus third-party candidates mm -hmm. that they backed behind the scenes in order to siphon away uh, votes from Democrats, and they've also vowed to do something about that. What do you think about those kind of tactics? Do you see anything wrong with them, or you think it's totally fine? They're just playing by the rules that are in place. Um, I think if you go straight over um, to the other side of Florida and go to West Palm Beach where you see um, Democrats hold all the power there, that's who gets elected, um, it's predominantly Democratic, um, they do the same things um, and Republicans aren't elected over there. I think that the reason that um, the Democratic Party here is saying that is because they're not getting um, their people elected. So it's easy to say, well, it's this, that or whatever. I personally believe that if you put up good candidates that people can back and vote for and feel strongly about, that they can go out and knock doors for them, that they can go out and make phone calls and write that personal $25 or $50 check or 100 whatever it may be, I think that's when you're going to get the candidates to win. The, 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 the dirty tricks on the side or what they like to call the dirty tricks, hey, it's politics. And if you're going to get in the game, don't complain about it because you sign up just like the other person signs up. So I, I think that, you know, just a lot of complaining and belly aching. All right. Well, when we come back from the break, we are going to ask Leah a tough question about Vern Buchanan.